Hey, how y'all doing out there? It's Pastor Kelly, Pastor Hello. Dolly. How you doing today? I'm good. <laughs> We're doing good. Thanks, Brad. Hope y'all are. Uh, be blessed. We got to look in the last video where we were talking about, you know, some of the things people say as Christians. A lot of times, you know, you can be going through hell and walking through church. Somebody, hey, I'm blessed. And you're really, you know, you're just saying, you just say these things. things. And we, we were looking at one that, if it's God's will, right? Hey, heard you, heard you wasn't feeling good. Hope you're feeling better. But if it's God's will, right. well, that is God's will. <laughs> it is God's will that you're healthy. That's right. It is God's will that you're blessed. That's it's right. God's will that you're prosperous. It's God's will that you're at peace, that you have comfort, that you have joy. These are all God's will. And right. if, I'm, if, if I know that, I want it. I'm going to speak it. I'm going to pray it. If Jesus purchased it, yeah. I'm getting it. If, if God doesn't want, if he doesn't want me to have it, then I don't want to pray that I do have it. But if he says it's mine, that it was part of the inheritance that Jesus Christ died for, right. I want my part. Right. I would fight you tooth and nail in the natural world. I've known folks that somebody passed away and leave $5,000 and the, the family fight over it until 4,900 of it went to the lawyers and the kids got, you know, the leftovers. And so we fight for what's ours in the natural. Yeah, that's right. And then when God says we have something, we just go, oh, well, you know, well, I'll have it later. Well, no, you know, won't. The devil will use it the whole time you're here and he'll use it against you. They, they misunderstand scriptures like the Lord's ways are higher than our ways. That doesn't mean that you can't figure it out. Right. It means you have the mind of Christ. So we're going to think higher than the world thinks, than the average person thinks. And because we're going to line up and think like God thinks because he makes that possible for his children to be. He's healed. actually given me access to his mind. To the understanding. I can know who, I can know who yeah, the mind of I may not know it all, but specifically well, sure. what I ask for, I can know the mind That's of right. God. That's right. And real quick, the, the overall encompassing will of God for this world, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. He says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It's God's will that everybody understand Jesus and be saved and become a child of God, adopted into the family, and enter into the blessings of the Lord. That's right. It's God's will that nobody perish. That's right. That's the start. So as believers, whether you're called into ministry, business, or whatever you're called into, we've all been given a ministry of reconciliation. So we, we have a lady that runs the quilt shop. She preaches as much as I do. She's every every customer that comes in her shop Every time she's open, she's going to tell them about Jesus. Right. She has it's it's our job as God's kids. kids to talk about what a wonderful Heavenly Father we have. That's right. That's general. Right. Now, you're going to get called into specific areas, but if you head back over in Ephesians, I think last video we looked at uh, verse 9 and verse 11, but if you jump back up to verse 3, he says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen. When you read your Bible, and anytime you come across words that God has chosen, that's his will. If God picked it, that's what he wants. That's right. If God chose it, that's what he decided. He wants it, and he chose it. He that's picked right. it. Right. So, as, according as God hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. It's God's will that everybody's adopted into the family of yeah. Through Jesus Christ. And no matter who you are, no matter how bad you think you are, no matter what somebody told you, no matter what something, you know, belief system was preached at you, it is the will of God. It is yeah. his good pleasure that yeah. you are adopted he into the kingdom of God. You. you are as valuable to him as mm -hmm. anybody else. And Jesus Christ would have came and died on that cross for you and you alone if you were the only person that was going to accept 
yeah. God's provision. When you think about it, we did some plays early on, and we still do them, but in school, I wouldn't be a part of anything like that. I was, you know, just didn't have the confidence, whatever, self-esteem. But once we got into church and I saw, I was looking for a, a, a way to serve and a way to, to give back. So we got into some of these gospel dramas that the church was doing. They were fun. They were. It was a lot of fun. It was, I enjoyed it. learned a lot. But as the whole, you know, the name of the, what was uh, the, the, I can't remember the name of the story, the play now. Mm. Whatever it was, the passion. the passion or whatever, it's the passion. It doesn't, you know, that's not talking about everybody. That's the whole. That's the whole of the plan. God has a whole plan, and we each play a part in it. I was high priest number three for five, six years. I was a gossip. Yeah. So each person has their part. They're all specific. They're all new. There might have been four or five gossips. There was three high priests, but we all had different parts. We all had, we were all unique and, and individual. And I didn't have to worry about what the other people were doing. I just needed to make sure I said my lines on cue <laughs> the right way. Don't improv too much. Business. Yeah, don't improv too much. <laughs> don't make up stuff. Try to do it without sounding like you come from the South. But... Didn't everybody in the Middle East, yeah. East Texas? The first night, me and my father-in-law, we were so, we were really, it was, it was nerve-wracking because we were like, man, this thing, because the last practice wasn't so good, but <laughs> I said, I'm just going to get up there and do my little part, okay? Mm -hmm. And I did. And it was like clockwork. I had it down and, uh, and you just get to it. You do your little part and you go back in the shadows. You do come out, you do your little part and you go back in the shadows. And then at the end of the night, everybody that had done their little part put together this whole the cast. Uh, the, the, this whole drama thing right. that was coherent. You could follow it. You understood what was going on. Yes. It, it told the story. That's right. And they clapped for everybody. We all got. We all took. A, we all shared. It in, took everybody's part. It did. Off. Yeah. It, it, and, and you know, it wasn't and they just, had people behind the scene too. The lighting right. guys, the all there's the so many people, people in involved the, in pulling off something like that. You know, you watch some of these Avengers movies. The the credits roll as long as the movie because there's so many thousands of people involved in just making a story make sense. That's right. God's been making this story make sense for a long time, mm -hmm. and we all have a part to play in it, and we all get to. Uh, receive of the of the adulation and the credit jesus is always the star now you know sure. that's never going to change i'm not trying to bump him but for god to say that he god has we have the, the the opportunity that we can fulfill our purpose get in front of god and he say well done that's going to be wow good. really god's going to tell me well done I know. I'm so that's, looking forward to that. that's his will yeah not just the adoption. We read down in verse 11, the inheritance is God's will. Your inheritance and, and, and your part to play in this thing is God's will. You being a part of the play is God's will. Your health, you know, pro I wish that you prosper and be in health. That's God's will, you know, and all Jesus these things. Jesus paid for it on the cross. Yeah. It is absolutely God's will. I tell you because what. Because I promise you this, it wouldn't have went down like that. If it hadn't no. been something that God needed to pay for to ensure that you could partake of it. Yeah. So for you to be completely delivered from uh, iniquities and transgressions and sickness, because those stripes were done on his back to deliver you from being sick. Um, all the things from shame, from guilt, condemnation, all of it. He paid for all that. Addiction. That means it is not the will of God that you sit there and yeah. feel condemned and stay away from the house of God because you don't feel like you fit in. Or judging them people down there at the church. You know what? People, some kind, I'm going to just say it. People can be idiots. Yeah. People are people. And sometimes they're going to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. But you know what? I can't help that. But I can decide for myself that I'm going to do what God's called me to do. If Jesus Christ died to, in, to give me the things that God wants me to have, I'm going to take them. Right. And I'm going to have them. And I'll tell you what, all the naysayers can just stand on the sidelines <laughs> and watch me yeah. relish in the benefits of serving God. Yeah. Because that is what's going to happen. 
Because if, if it was in, this important to God, then I'm taking it. Yeah. And I'm going to resist the devil. He's going to flee. I know more than once we've gotten home and had to turn around and drive back to Walmart because of the little spinny merry-go-round thing. We paid for toothpaste, we got home and couldn't find it. Right. We take that receipt, drive all the way back to Walmart and argue with them folks and tell them, I want my $2 toothpaste. Usually they found it and they yeah. got it sitting somewhere. A bread or whatever it is, you don't check the little merry-go-round and you mm -hmm. get home and you, you didn't get something you paid for. That's right. Jesus paid for it. That's right. I want it. The I devil is not going to keep And the stuff. reading of this will, yeah. if it's in the New Testament and it was purchased for me and God tells me this is his will. It is God's will that we I want it. obtain it all. That's right. So that's and it's I'm not spiritual or holy or special or anything else to reject these things mm -hmm. that cost heaven everything they have to purchase them for you. And then you're going to reject them because you're so spiritual. If you're spiritual, then yeah. you need to make sure that you walk out the provision the way God wanted you to have it and you make sure the spiritual means you make all this stuff come to pass in your life. You by yeah. faith obtain the promises of God. We read That's it earlier. I, I think we talked do. about it on our earlier video. God wants all of us to come to repentance, not repentance. I'm not self abusing myself no. to pay for anything. It's already paid for. That's right. I'm receiving I, I receive it. When I accept Jesus Christ, I'm let into the amusement park. Now I can t partake freely of any ride or That's anything right. in the park because right. you're either inside or outside. That's right. When I'm outside the park, I can't partake of the things inside the park. When I get to know Jesus, I get I get gain entrance. It all becomes yours. Yeah. And you don't get to you don't get to decide where you start out in life. Mm. None of us do. None of us decided what going. family we were going to be born in what nation we were going to be born in, what language we were going to be speaking, whether we were going to be poor or wealthy or anything else. None of us, not one person on this planet, decided where they were going to start their journey. But I'm telling you, with Jesus Christ, God put you in this position right now where you're hearing this. Mm -hmm. So he is affording you an opportunity to be able to take this and receive it and partake of it and change your current situation and get to where God wants you to be. He has a plan for your life. You were not an accident. You were not just some freak of nature. You certainly weren't some kind of crazy explosion thing that happened and crawled out of the water and turned into some crazy. That is not where you come from. You were predestined. Predestined. Before the foundation of the world, God knew you. He saw the end from the beginning. And he had a plan. And he brought you into this earth at the right time for the right reasons because whatever it is you're called to be, whatever role important. you play, it's it's, it's action important. time. It's action time. Yeah. It's time for you to join the set and get up there and do your role. And whatever that is. But if you don't first figure out that you're forgiven, that you're loved, that God wants you healed and healthy and whole, and he wants you to have peace in your soul, and he wants you to be um, you know, all the provision... Useful. Functional. Yeah. You need to be functional. And and God provided everything that you need. Yeah. And we rejected the acting like we're being spiritual for years. I thought it was, you know, more spiritual for me to act like, you know, well, oh, I'm just a victim. Oh, I'm just I'm just suffering for the Lord. I literally was trained that way growing up. And it took me forever before I'm like, what kind of glory is this bringing God? This doesn't even make sense. And whenever you start hearing the teaching and you start hearing about the will of God and understanding what Jesus Christ purchased for you, then you break that mess off of you. Yeah. He utterly breaks those bands of bondage off of you and sets you free. I am a child of the creator of everything. Amen. It's all at his disposal. Jesus said, my father's given me all things. And then Jesus turned around and left all things to us. He said, God freely through his son will freely give us all things. I want it. If it's, if it's going to help me get to my purpose and fulfill my purpose, I want it. And I'm going to get it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We hope you enjoyed this one. We may talk a little bit more about God's will. There's just too many scriptures. But thanks for watching. Y'all be blessed and God loves you.